Alright, what's up everybody? So in this video I wanted to do another how-to on Destiny, but this time, uh, no more farming, that's done. No more farming videos on my channel, they're all patched, they're all... I mean, like I said, there's a lot of them that still work, you can still get engrams, rare ones, um, you can still get XP, glimmer, whatnot, but legendary, uh, engrams I heard are patched, I'm not sure if it's 100% true, but whatever, uh, farming I'm done with. But I wanted to talk about a few things you can do to still get legendary and exotic weapons. Now, these are just things that, um... We're mostly at the tower, and uh, they're pretty easy to do. You, do, you probably know about them. Um, now, the first thing is you need uh, a lot of strange coins. So before I tell you where to get strange co coins, sorry if I can't talk, uh, it's really late, but uh, you, you need to uh, get a lot of them because you uh, can buy a lot of exotic weapons and armor. Now, the thing is... You buy it from some guy named, I don't know how to pronounce it, Zur, X-U-R, and uh, he's only on uh, the, he's only at the tower from Fridays to Sundays, uh, 9 a.m. through 9 a.m., and uh, this Sunday, or this Friday, and through Sunday, um, Agent of the Nine, he is over here, but he actually moves every weekend, he might be in the same place, who knows, but uh, you still have to find him. Just look it up and try to find it. Anyways, so he give he can give you f exotic gear. Um, so you can get exotic engrams. You can get a exotic rifle um, or actually just other gear. Um, and you can usually get a piece of armor from each class. See, you need strange coins though. So you only have three. Um, so the way to get strange coins is really to play PvP, um, Crucible, uh, which is the same thing, but I mean PvP slash Crucible and uh, just get some rare engrams and just kind of play the campaign and try to find some rare engrams but um, y it isn't too hard to get strange coins but that's a really good way of getting exotic weapons if you don't feel like waiting uh, to kill an enemy and actually find like a legendary engram and accidentally get one or just randomly get one um, so the next way to get legendary engrams or exotic weapons is pvp slash crucible by itself so earlier i was playing and somebody who got 10 kills, uh, who was second to last, they got a legendary uh, engram. And the next match, someone got a legendary engram. And uh, so, but the thing is, you have to have a couple requirements done. Um, and this goes for anything of exotic, any sort of exotic weapons or legendary items. You still need a few things done. Number one, you have to be level 20. Now, I think you can buy exotic and legendary weapons as long as you have, like, strange coins and whatnot. But you can't use it to level 20. Now, to unlock it as far as legendary engrams and uh, PvP slash Crucible engrams, you need to be level 20 and you need to have a Cryptarch rank of 3. Now, Cryptarch ranks uh, you get by decrypting uh, engrams here at the uh, Master Rahu Cryptarch. And I just got to level our Crypt Arc rank 3, so I can try to get that stuff now. Um, the next one is really just events. Now, every once in a while, there will be an event. I don't know when you're going to watch this. As, as of now, there's an event um, called the Queen's Wrath. And uh, if you complete some bounties and you get Queen's rank, as long as you have some glimmer, you can actually buy some legendary items. Um, I do not have uh, Queen's rank yet, because I still need to do uh, some bounties. Now, also a good way to get rewards is bounties. Now, that's something you guys obviously know, but bounties is a good way to get rewards. And uh, doing bounties, in this case, can help you get these legendary items. So, as you guys can see in a second right here. So, okay, you can get shaders, uh, emblems, you can get armor, um, titan armor, and you can get weapons. Well, not just titan armor, but weapons. And you just need a queen rank. Now, to get queen rank, you just need to finish a certain amount of uh, of those um, bounties. So, uh, you have to do a certain amount. It doesn't really matter. Well, it matters how much, but it just it kind of varies. But anyways, if as long as you have some glimmer in queen's rank, you can get um, some legendary items. Now, in the future, the events might be different, but uh, you should be able to get some cool items out of the events. And so those are all good ways to get them. Now, there's some different ways. To, and, and there's other ways, I guess. Like, uh, you can still kind of farm to get rare engrams and other things and then get better weapons to go. I don't know. Um, but this is a quick video. I'm sorry. It's really late. I'm tired. If you have any comments or questions, just leave it in the comments. Um, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, I'm sorry that kind of I didn't really show you much. I just kind of walked around and told you guys a few things. But I thought just because uh, in honor of the farming method gone, uh, I should tell you guys a few other ways you can do it. And um, basically, you just have to kind of get legendary and exotic items the way the game they wanted you to get it by just kind of, you know, uh, playing pvp and crucible and just uh going through the game and you just have to kind of grind yourself to get the items but it's still cool so um yeah 
And uh, I'll show you guys the bounties. So, you guys can get any of these bounties. You can actually get Vanguard Reputation and Experience for all of it. And these are the Queen's Wrath bounties uh, as of now. So, um, I think it's four days, 40 hours. Or maybe it's four. Oh, no, it's four hours and 40 minutes. So, I think... I don't know how long the Queen's Wrath uh, goes on for. But, um, I don't want to do the Fallen Walkers one. I don't know. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you have any more uh, things you can do to get legendary and exotic items, but you want me to make a video on it just so it can all be clear, uh, then you know you can leave that comment. Like I said, I'm tired, so sorry. It's like 1 a.m. I'm making this. Um, so I'm really sorry uh, that I kind of didn't make a lot of sense, and I'm making a really long outro. But um, that's pretty much it. And you should be able to get some legendary and exotic items. Uh, pretty quickly if you just try to get all those methods and real quick though I wanted to say to get strange coins and now I, I know I talked about that but to get strange coins and to uh, and a couple other items actually you can get um, basically you just have to go through the campaign I recommend because you can't really farm just go through the campaign and um, just complete it all and you should be able to get some decoherent engrams um, also you could use some of my farming methods to get decoherent engrams because those still kind of work and uh, there's one more thing I wanted to show you guys. It's actually, uh, I don't know what his name is. It's kind of like a li librarian guy. He's over here in the hangar. And um, you can buy legendary items from him too. But you need, I don't remember what you need. But you need something different. Um, you need Glimmer, obviously, I think. But uh, actually, you might not. I don't know. Let me just see. So up here, there is the Voice of the Traveler. And he's here all the time. And he has armor and emblems. Uh, I'm not sure if it ever changes really. But all you need to do is get mode of lights. Now it's kind of the same as a, a strange coin. You need to do the same thing. Just kill and hope, uh, kill enemies and hope you can uh, find a mode of light. And uh, but you, this is for armor, and um, it's pretty cool. It's for different classes too. And you can also get some cool emblems. So um, mode of light and strange coin. I'd recommend keeping, making sure you have a lot of those, and um, just kind of grind. This is basically the only way. Uh, to quickly get legendary and exotic items. I'm sure there's maybe some other ways that are easier, but I'd recommend just kind of grinding and trying your best because farming isn't really working anymore. All right, everybody, that's it. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm really sorry uh, that I'm, this video probably didn't make a lot of sense to you guys, but I just wanted to talk about it for a second. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video I make. Bye, everyone.